imagine a situation whereby you have all the symptoms of pregnancy you have breast tenderness you're having fatigue you're even having vomiting in fact you've even missed your period and you can feel it down within you that you are really pregnant only for you to take a pregnancy test and it comes back as negative that can be really really frustrating but in today's video i'm going to be telling you the exact things that could be causing this and what you should do about them so if you find this kind of content interesting consider watching this video to the end share it to your friends and loved ones who might benefit from them and also in this channel i talk about fertility women's health and everything health if you find this interesting consider subscribing to my channel so let's get started so the first factor that can make you get that negative pregnancy test is when you take the test too early so taking your pregnancy test too early simply means taking it before your period is due so you know exactly when you're expecting your period and when because maybe because you're expecting that oh you're seeing the signs of pregnancy so i should take a pregnancy test and you decide to take it earlier than when you should that would mean you will get a negative test result now in this case it is really advised that you should wait like one week or some days after your period is due this is because it gives your body time to allow the hcg uh, hormone levels to actually go up you know this hcg hormone which is the human chorionic gonadotrophic hormone is that hormone that the urine test strip detects in your urine that now gives you that positive result you're looking for so when you take it too early at that point that hormone level is very low such that the test strip is not able to find out or to detect it in your urine so that would mean you won't be able to get the results so that is one factor you should bear in mind before taking a pregnancy test and when you take it too early that means you're going to get a negative result so let's get into the second factor another factor could be premenstrual syndrome and premenstrual syndrome is not a disease it simply involves those signs and symptoms that women usually experience at least one week or a few days to their menstruation so women with premenstrual syndrome simply have those signs like breast tenderness they feel fatigue they feel bloating bloating simply means when you're having this kind of fullness on your tummy you just feel like your tummy is too big and sometimes you don't even feel like eating so when women have this kind of signs, some even begin to have vomiting so and you know these are usually the signs you have in the early stages of pregnancy so it is normal for you to have the feeling that you are pregnant when in reality you are not and these can actually give you a negative test result when you test for pregnancy another common cause is what is known as pseudosciasis so pseudosciasis is simply a condition whereby a woman has all the signs and symptoms of pregnancy but when you take a blood test or an ultrasound it doesn't show that the woman is pregnant this is actually a rare condition and it is believed by healthcare providers that this is caused mostly by hormones and psychological factors and this is usually common among women who have this strong desire to get pregnant on the other hand it is also found to be in women who have an extreme fear of getting pregnant so that is why it is believed to be caused by psychological factors it could also occur in people who have emotional trauma those with anxiety and depression so when we talk about pseudosciasis it is one thing that can make you feel that you are pregnant you will exhibit those signs and symptoms and you will be very very convinced within you that you are pregnant however when you take a pregnancy test it will turn out as negative having a late or missed period is another factor that can make a woman believe that she is really pregnant when in reality she is not and thus making her to get a negative test result so let me explain when it comes to having a late or missed period many women who have irregular cycles are likely to have a late or missed period in the sense that because they have an irregular cycle they might expect to have their period let's say in two days time but because it is very irregular it might delay as far as going to five days and within those days they might begin to think maybe i'm pregnant that's why i've not been able to see my period so this is another factor 
But however, if you have a regular cycle, you know that your cycle is very regular and yet you missed your period. And now you're thinking, oh, I'm pregnant and I've taken a test, a test result and it's still giving me a negative test. So that means something is wrong. It could be due to stress, PCOS, it could be due to excessive weight gain or excessive weight loss. And also women that have different kinds of disease conditions like heart disease, diabetes, and the rest of them, they are also likely to have this kind of problem. So if you have a late or missed period, it is likely that on taking a pregnancy test, it might turn out as negative. If normally missing your period is a sign that you could be pregnant. But in a situation whereby you have a late or missed period, it is also likely that you are not pregnant. So that is why a person who might miss their period could go ahead to take a pregnancy test and also it turns out as negative. So these are the factors that can lead to a negative test result when you are indeed feeling that you are pregnant. Finally, people who are undergoing fertility treatment are more likely to have those signs or symptoms of pregnancy when in reality they are not pregnant. So if you are undergoing a fertility treatment, it is normal for you to begin to feel those signs and symptoms of pregnancy. Some people have mild belly pain, some have vomiting, diarrhea, and the rest of them. So when you begin to have these symptoms, it's normal for a woman who is trying to conceive to have that feeling within herself that she is pregnant when in reality she is not. So my advice to you is that if you're feeling or having any sign of pregnancy, try to do what I'm just going to tell you now. Remember the first one I mentioned, taking the test too early. Make sure that before you take the test, your period is due. And when your period is due, don't just be in a rush. I know it's normal for you to want to get that news as fast as possible. You want to hear that good news. But just try to give yourself some days, if possible, Give yourself at least one week after your period is due before you take the test. That will increase your chances of getting the accurate result. Then next, for people with pseudosciences, I've already mentioned this earlier, seek therapy. Also, you, from your healthcare provider, you can get hormonal treatment. They can help to convince you also that you are not pregnant because when you are psychologically stable, that goes a long way in helping you to accept the situation instead of just dreaming and thinking that, oh, this is real, even when it is not. Finally, always consult your healthcare provider when you feel that everything is not all right. Now, we are talking about you getting a negative result when you feel down within you that you are pregnant always consult your healthcare provider because there could be a lot of factors which can give you that result. When your healthcare provider takes a detailed history about you, ask you certain questions which I will not be able to discuss in this video, that will help the person to give you the best advice and the best treatment possible. Also, it is very important that you drop your questions down there in the comment section and I will try my very best to answer them. If you enjoyed my video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe to my channel. That is really important to me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.